Good afternoon, good evening, good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro. We do have a throwback to the old Playmates Ninja Turtles 19, I don't know, 91, whatever the time was, of uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem 4-pack, and this is called the Mutation Station, so a pretty interesting uh, title there, but this has our turtle friends and some awesome costumes and we do have some throwbacks to the original uh, for sure that I know of with the Spaceman Raph and the uh, Spock style uh, Donatello. The other two might have been throwbacks too. Uh, I'm sure they were or else why would they be in here? Um, but yeah, pretty cool pack that's been sitting on the shelves for quite a while now. Uh, but you know what? The time has come for clearances. So I was able to pick this bad boy up for 20 smackaroos. I think that's a pretty good deal. Obviously five bucks a fig. I said I was done with these. Um, I had, you know, the turtles, a few of the other side characters. And I said that would be enough for me, but I really dug this pack and wanted to dig in a little deeper. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy unboxed and we'll take a closer look. All right, we got the turtles unpacked and already, first of all, that was like the Wrestlemania, the showcase of the Immortals of zip ties and tie downs and everything like that. That took forever. But just in a box in these turtles, I got to say already, I I'm digging it a whole lot. But let's go ahead and start off with the first one. This is kind of like the vacation Michelangelo here. He does come with this cool uh, guitar with a little hook on there so it can't strap onto his back. I would actually say that customizers could probably just paint this up and make it look nice because I think it'll scale pretty good with a normal uh, you know six inch type figure so maybe if you want a, a honky tonk man um, custom one that isn't breakable like the WWE ones do then that might be the way to go but anyhow on to Michelangelo look at that cool hat cool smile nice face glasses stay on very good they haven't moved at all Coming out of the package, he's got a cool little camera accessory hanging off here. Nice little uh, banana, pumpkin, uh, squiggly line, shirt, flowers, whatever's going on there. Yellow shell on the back. Uh, some cool swim trunks, knee pads, and turtle flippy floppies. And he stands pretty good. So, pretty good start. I mean, just a fun, fun figure there. So, starting off good, starting off hot with Michelangelo. Up next we're gonna go to Leonardo and Leonardo does come with two pew pews here. Cool little pew pews looking nice. Also could probably customize these as well. And then he does come with a fun little uh, gidget gadget type pew pew with the uh, bang uh, kinda dangling thing at the bottom there so pretty fun there and we come down to cowboy leo rocking his cowboy hat with a nice face there little bandana around his neck cool vest with the big l and badge on there that's where his pew pew goes on the side and then for the other side he like i said he does also have a pew pew has kind of a cowboy vest um, covering his shell so that looks pretty nice pair of jeans extra belt and looks like almost like some uh, Indian chaps going on here and then on down to the bottom with some boots and of course spurs for when he's cruising the tunnels of NYC he just might need to spur something so pretty cool again there all right now we're moving on to one that should be familiar to anybody in the turtle line and this is good old space raft uh, I will note that the sticker on his chest already has started to come off uh, I just kind of pushed it back on there, so worth noting there. But you get the bubble head. You got Raph looking like a Raph. Nice, mean, bug-eyed, crazy. Good attention to detail. Uh, as He's got his little flight um, little helmet thing there that covers up the hair and all that stuff on him. Little radio antenna and all that good stuff. So pretty cool. Does have a Gumby-looking squid thing. You know what? This may be, is this a space thing? I don't know, it's got to be a space thing, right? Anyway, looks because it looks this looks like something under the water, but anyhow. Um, little oxygen tank, all that good stuff. Extra greeblies, things like that. And he does come with a little blaster right there. And then before I forget, 
also does have this little uh, kind of knife thing going on there that he does also come with but nice nice figure nice solid base too as the feet are nice and wide here so this doesn't have any problem standing up all day every day easy peasy stands up nicely and then for the star of the show we're gonna hit with Donatello Spock and of course Donatello would not be complete without a Star Trek phaser I would venture to say that this is the exact same one that came with um, those kind of re-released Star Trek uh, figures with Kirk and um, Spock himself Khan um, from the original series of movies so I would not be surprised if that's what that is from easy easy mold but here we got Donatello as good old Spock glasses on does come with Spock ears which is something I was trying to look at so not very often you see a turtle with ears but there you go nice little convention style t-shirt com badge Star Trek emblem on the belt good old pants and you gotta have you gotta have knee pads I'm not sure that's in Starfleet uniform code but it, there it is all the same and just some normal flat uh, shoes there and just the, the shell is painted to match the shirt but uh, yeah there you go Donatello, he does have a little more difficulty standing than everybody else, but he will get the job done. So, we'll be back in just a second for our final thoughts. Alright, so final thoughts on this long game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle purchase is, man, what a fun pack, man. If you didn't get the original guys um, from this movie, or if you didn't even see this movie, I would say give it a shot. It should be on, what, Paramount Plus, something like that. Um, I was very kind of hesitant on it, gave it a shot, and really, really enjoyed um, the movie. And the figures are pretty fun, too. This is a great pack. And especially now, with um, Turtles seemingly going on clearance, uh, now is the time to try to pull the trigger on this bad boy and get it for, you know, under retail. Like I said, I was able to get it for 20 bucks, And for 20 bucks, I am super stoked with this deal and uh, pretty happy to add this to my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie collection. Um, but what are you guys' thoughts? Something you're going to try to check out now or uh, not really interested in the movie or haven't seen it and don't want to see it? But either way, leave us a comment at the bottom of uh, what you guys think and uh, we'll be sure to respond to you. That's kind of our goal right now. We're not a big channel. We probably never will be, but we will definitely always respond to you guys. Um, but I think it's time to go ahead and throw one back. So for myself and for Uncle BJ, we are going to throw one back. And we'll see you all next time.